I actually came from a different university before coming to SMU. When I come to SIS, right, it is a totally different thing. Like everyone here is like family. 40, 50 students in a class, that means that you know everyone. It's people offering help and people offering resources. And it's completely voluntary. SIS in particular, uh, it's not a fully technical school. There's business elements to it, so there is a blend of the technical skill and the business skill uh, that comes in. To describe my SIS experience with one word, I think that word would be flexible. In my time in SIS, I managed to take uh, postgraduate courses, and even on top of that, gained quite a lot of research experience. Especially with the three tracks that SIS students can now go for, business analytics, digital business solutioning, as well as financial technology. I think that range of experiences that an SIS student can gain is so much wider. So I think that SMU pedagogy really suits me because you really learn to learn. And SMU basically like gives you the foundational skills um, to go further into what you actually want to specialise in. And the breadth of the courses that we have here in SIS allowed me to pick up so many different analytic skills. The school has provided me with a lot of uh, opportunities to pursue my passion in the data science and data analytics area. They actually give us an online learning platform in the form of data camp to pursue more hands-on implementation of, let's say, machine learning algorithms as well as artificial intelligence algorithms. I've also got the chance to uh, further my studies um, through the Masters in IT and Business program, which is a fast-track Masters program that allows me to finish my Masters in um, undergraduate within 4.5 years. So one of the hackathons that I've actually embarked on is the Legal Tech Hackathon where my team and I actually created a web application platform for, that will help to match lawyers with their prospective clients. Beyond the hackathons that I've embarked on, other things that I've went on to do would be to utilise the resources that has been given to me by SIS itself through a uh, the online learning courses. Last summer, I was very um, fortunate to be selected for the SG Innovate Submission Program. I was attached to a young startup called Intellex, which is actually a company that attempts to make the lives of lawyers much easier through a legal knowledge platform. During my internship, like, it really helped me connect a lot of dots of like, how different systems work, how the different systems interact with each other. So I think uh, IS is a very good uh, avenue for you, even if you, are, you think that your technical skills are strong, you can still come and learn you know, how to actually uh, use these IT skills in actually uh, more realistic, I'd say, uh, business scenarios. Almost every module that we've taken always entailed some sort of a project. Some of these projects actually involve some sort of industry experience, where IS partners with companies Visa, Nielsen, and I think this sort of experience where you build products as well as you build applications that do have a real-world impact. So my work involves uh, master planning. So that's looking across GovTech and planning the areas that we want to look into and the different capabilities that we want to build within GovTech. Previously, I was a business analyst at MOE working on the projects uh, Student Learning Space and Parents Gateway. And before that, I was a developer. I wanted it to be something that was relevant to the lives of the people around me. And I saw technology at play in different elements of life. And this is really what SIS has helped to equip me with.